Hi everyone! It's going to be a while before we can meet again at the library or Balance Boutique, so I thought I'd start doing some videos so that we can keep our yoga going. Let's get started by peeling the flesh away from the sits bones, finding a nice comfy seat, lengthening the spine, press the crown of the head up, gently closing the eyes or finding a soft gaze on the ground. First, begin to notice your breath before you control it. Notice what your rhythm, rhythm of breath is. Where do you feel your breath? What is the quality of your breath today? Smooth and steady? Maybe it's jagged and unsteady? Taking your attention to your rib cage, see if you can expand the ribs equally in all directions. Pressing the rib cage forward, back to the sides as you breathe in. As you breathe out, still drawing the navel up and in, lift the pelvic floor, really empty the body of breath. The more empty you can get the lungs, the more room you create for fresh oxygen. Allowing the breath to deepen even further, carrying it all the way into the chest. Feel the breath move through three spaces, filling the belly, expanding the ribs, lifting the chest. Exhale from the top down, lifting the pelvic floor, squeeze all the air out. Two more full breaths this way, inhaling from the bottom up, exhaling from the top down. Start to synchronize movement with breath, inhaling the arms rise, exhale hands down, chin to chest. Again. Two more. Leaving the hands at the ground, tuck the chin really tight and start to draw the chin from shoulder to shoulder. Still breathing. Pausing at the center. Inhale, lift your gaze to the horizon. Exhale, one ear down. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Start to move with your breath. Either pausing where you feel tension to move that tension out. Or just warming up the neck muscles if you don't have any tension. Coming to center as you feel balanced. Sweeping your chin over your shoulder, gaze behind you. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. A couple of times in each direction. Visualizing yourself as a beautiful owl who can gaze all the way around behind you. My husband doesn't want the coffee to get cold. Pausing as you feel balanced. Inhale, lifting one arm up and over, finding some side bends. Inhaling through center. Exhale, other side. Go ahead. 
rolling the top shoulder back, lifting the chest, lifting the gaze. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Two more. Coming to center. Switch the cross of your legs. So sit goofy footed. This is the non habitual way of sitting. Inhale, the arms rise. Exhale, twisting your body to the side. Bring the arms down. One hand finds the knee, one hand finds the floor. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twisting. Inhale, lengthen the spine. Exhale, twisting. Think about turning the navel first, then the shoulders, and finally the neck and gaze. One more breath. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhaling the arms to the sky, unwind to the center. Exhale, twisting to the other side. Bring the hands down. Use your breath to work your posture. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, twist. Two more breaths. Inhaling to center. Exhale, fall forward over the legs. Bring the hands down for support. Pressing into the hands, press your hips down. Tuck the chin. Moving as close to the floor as you can get comfortably without tension in the back or hips. Walking your hands in really close to the knees, drawing the navel into the spine, roll up. Start to roll the shoulders up, back, and down. And change direction. Letting that movement go. Send the arms out in front of you. Flick the fingers like you've got water on your hands. Really shake it out. Ugh. Maybe like a girl in a cat fight. Ah! Shake, 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 shake. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, float the arms down. Gently, 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 slowly floating. Notice your arms as they move through the space. There is no wrong way to lower the arms. Simply observe how your arms move. Maintaining engagement as you move through. And then relaxing the arms in your lap. You can un you can unhabitualize. Go you can go back to your normal sitting now if you want. It's starting to annoy me. You can even extend both legs out in front of you. We're gonna move through one quick round of Kapalabhati. If you don't know Kapalabhati or Breath of Fire, looks like this. And what we're doing is we're focusing on the exhale and it's a passive inhale. So you just trust your body to do what it knows how to do and you are cleansing. This is a very detoxifying breath. It brings a lot of heat and energy into the body. It's also known as skull shining breath because it cleanses the mind. So if you would like to join me, if you have high blood pressure, especially uncontrolled high blood pressure, just simply breathe. Long, deep, relaxing breaths skip this breathing exercise. But if you feel strong and you want to do a little detoxifying breath with me this morning, Inhale to begin. fall forward, squeeze all the breath out. All in. Right. 
sit up with the breath held out. Roll the palms to the sky. Inhale, two-thirds capacity. When the urge to breathe grows strong, simply release the breathing practice. Kicking back in a hammock, send the legs out in front of you. And start to point and flex the feet. Kind of rocking on the hips. A little hip massage here. Lengthening the front of the legs as you point the toes away. Lengthening the back of the legs as you press the heels away. Moving back and forth. Really lengthen the legs. Start to roll the ankles. No. <laughs> and change direction. <laughs> Letting that movement go. Walking the feet in, clasp behind the bent knees. See if you can balance on the sits bones. We're going to do a little core strengthening here. So can you balance on the sits bones? Maybe tapping a toe, maybe stretching the legs out in front of you. Maybe you don't even have to hold on to the legs. Maybe you can straighten the legs. <laughs> Imagine you're holding on to a big giant beach ball. Reach that beach ball to the side wall and switch it over to the other side. And take it two more times in each direction. Coming back to center, roll all the way onto the back, pumping the legs, rocking forward and back on the spine. And this move doesn't feel good to everyone. Instead, you can go side to side to get your little back massage. This is a great way to move the blood and the lymph all the way up the body. One of my favorite teachers, here at Balance Boutique teaches the kids, Jessica Arnold, and she does a really fun one of these where you go plow pose, TV watching pose, plow pose, TV watching pose, and you try and switch the cross of your legs every time you come up. So this is fun and it really does something. It moves the blood, it moves the oxygen, it moves the lymph. Unlike blood and oxygen, there is no system in the body to pump the lymph. We have to do that for it. So that really gets everything moving, and it's a nice oxygenator. The kids are getting restless, so I'm going to put them outside, and then we'll do our shavasana. Come on. Uh -uh. I hope those other dogs weren't out. Oh, working from home. Okay, so now that we're done with all that core strengthening and lymph moving, bring yourself into a corpse pose. This is the meat of our practice. This is the most important thing you can do in yoga is to relax. Our shavasana or final relaxation is done in corpse pose. Relax the feet open, roll the palms to the sky, relax the shoulders down, let go of the control of your breathing. Begin to scan the body, noticing any areas of tension. Send your breath to that area and move that tension out. Begin to scan the mind, noticing any mind chatter that is unnecessary. What are you holding on to that you can let go of, physically or mentally? Emptying your body of stress right now. Emptying your mind of stress. Feeling heavy with relaxation. I'd like to share a poem with you by Sapphire Rose called She Let Go.
she let go. She let go without a thought or a word. She let go. She let go of the fear. She let go of the judgments. She let go of the confluence of opinions swarming around her head. She let go of the committee of indecision within her. She let go of all the right reasons. Wholly and completely, without hesitation or worry, she just let go. She didn't ask anyone for advice. She didn't read a book on how to let go. She didn't search the scriptures. She just let go. She let go of all the memories that held her back. She let go of all the anxiety that kept her from moving forward. She let go of the planning and of all the calculations about how to do it just right. She didn't promise to let go. She didn't journal about it. She didn't write the projected date in her day timer. She made no public announcement and put no ad in the paper. She didn't check the weather or read her daily horoscope. She just let go. She didn't analyze whether she should let go. She didn't call her friends to discuss the matter. She didn't do a five-step spiritual mind treatment or call the prayer line. She didn't utter one word. She just let go. No one was around when it happened. There was no applause or congratulations. No one thanked her or praised her. No one noticed a thing. Like a leaf falling from a tree, she just let go. There was no effort. There was no struggle. It wasn't good and it wasn't bad. It was what it was and it is just that. In the space of letting go, she let it all be. A small smile came over her face. A light breeze blew through her, and the sun and the moon shone forevermore. Please stay here in Shavasana as long as you like, and when you're ready to come out, gently, slowly moving the body, slowly bringing the mind into the space, thanking yourself taking the time to feel your body, to find your center and your breath. And then come back into the world. I'd like to close this practice with the sound of Om. Feel free to join me if you'd like, inhaling to begin. Ah. Uh, oh. Honor yourself, honor each other, trust in your heart what you know to be true. Keep peace in your heart, keep peace in your mind, and help spread peace throughout the universe. Hari Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Namaste. Thank you.